Hi guys, so I have here uh, the next uh, video will be the head of the Ulna. Okay, I'm just going to be reading the um, information here. Please look at the image uh, of, of 3.18. Okay, we're indicating the head of the Ulna here. So the shaft of the Ulna swells to form the head of the Ulna. So the head is a superficial knob visible along the posterior medial side of the wrist that can disrupt the placement of a watch band. So having the therapist um, in any position, you slide your fingers distally along the owner's shaft, just proximal to the wrist, so the shaft will bulge to become the head of the ulna. So palpate all sides of the bulbous head. Is it the knob you are palpating connected to the shaft of the ulna? In a neutral position, it is on the posterior medial side of the forearm. So I'm going to go ahead uh, to the stellar process of the ulna. Okay, so this is the stellar process, this is the image. So both the ulna and the radius have stellar processes at their distal ends. So the radius stellar process is larger and extends uh, for, uh, farther distally. The ulna stellar process is sharper and more pronounced. It is a tooth-like projection pointing distally of the head of the ulna. It is located in the posterior medial side of the wrist. Both solid processes are superficial and the tendons of the forearm muscles pass beside them. Okay, shake hands with your partner, having uh, to passively adduct ADAD the wrist to soften the surrounding tendons. Use your thumb to locate the posterior aspect of the ulnar head. Slide distally of the head to palpate the small tip of the solid process. Is it the bone you are palpating connected to the ulnar head? As opposed to a separate carpal bone. If you slowly flex and extend the wrist, does it remain stationary? Here is the head of the radius. That's the next um, topic. Okay, um, please take a look at this image here where um, it has um, the image of a supinating and pronating the right forearm. Okay. So this is a, a bigger image of the joint here. This is the head of the radius. This is the lateral epicondyle, okay? So um, the head of the radius um, is distal to the humerus. Okay, humerus lateral epicondyle. Sorry, I was just checking the phone. It, it forms the radius proximal end and has a cir circular bell shape. The head is stabilized by the annular ligament Okay, keep that in mind. It is stabilized by the annular ligament. Okay, and it's, it is a pivoting point for supination and pronation of the forearm. Although it is deep to the supinator and extensor muscles, the head's posterior lateral aspect can be accessed. So shake hands with your partner and locate the lateral epicondyle. Slide distally off the uh, lateral epicondyle across a small ditch between the humerus and radius and then to the head of the radius. So the head of the radius is the only bony structure in this vicinity. Explore its ring shape, superficial surface. So if you can check again, are you distal to the lateral epicondyle? Place your thumb on the head and with your other hand, slowly supinate and pronate the forearm. Do you feel the head's rotating movement under your thumb? So those are the questions that you should be asking yourself. So you can really uh, make sure that you are on the right proper uh, landmarking. Shaft of the radius is the next that we'll be uh, featuring. Please take a look at the uh, image 3.22. It, it is featuring anterior and lateral view of the posterior surface of the right forearm. So here we're going to uh, read here the shaft of the radius is located on the lateral side, thumb side of the forearm. Unlike, unlike the superficial edge of the ulnar shaft, most of the shaft of the radius is buried under muscle tissue. Its distal portion, however, is superficial and can be directly accessed. So having the therapist flex the elbow to 90 degree and put the forearm in a neutral handshake position. Locate the head of the radius, slide distally off the head, noting how the radius sinks between the forearm's muscles. Continue down the forearm and feel the radius become superficial near the, near the wrist. Along the distal forearm, explore, explore 
all sides of the superficial shaft of the radius. We're going to ask this question. Is the bone you are palpating along the lateral side of the forearm? Place one hand upon the radial shaft while the other hand slowly supinates and pronates the forearm. Do you feel the shaft of the radius pivoting pivot around the shaft of the ulna?